Hey everyone, my name is Jackie Jess and welcome back to another Club Penguin Rewritten video where today the April Fool's Party has released on Club Penguin Rewritten for 2020. Now this party is hectic, it has so many different things you can do in it, there's so many different rooms, there's so many different items you can pick up and uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. I'm starting off here in the town. As you can see from the looks of things, it's already pretty crazy. There are invisible buildings. There's like the Mona Lisa painting up there. I don't know why it's there. Um, but yeah, in these buildings, there are many crazy, crazy things. Such as if you went into the nightclub, the, um, yeah, everything just changes color. It's, it's pretty weird. And for instance, if you go up into the dance lounge, get ready, it's flipped. And yeah, so it's definitely, Gonna get some uh, getting used to, but the party only lasts for like six days, I think, maybe just a week. I reckon it should last even longer than that because there is just so many things in it. But okay, so now on to the things that you can pick up, and uh, yeah, so the first place you can go to is the cove. You now, at the cove is one of my favorite items of all time in the game that I've been waiting for uh, Club Bang Rewritten to release. If it loads, it actually loaded. Okay, as you can see, the free item is right here, and it is the rainbow swirly glasses that I'm wearing right now. I've wanted these items for so long. I think I forgot to pick them up earlier in the game's release, but now they are finally back, and they are so cool. So yeah, while we're at the dock, you can see some pretty crazy stuff as well. There are a lot of animations um, too with the boxes and stuff which I think is really creative and if you yeah if you if you put your mouse over the trees they all do this Mexican wave looking thing okay so the next room that you really want to go to is the dock now at the dock again there are some awesome looking animations but there are also some really cool items such as these box shoes that I already have um, they look like this if I just go to feed items I can show you right now here they are that's what they look like on your penguin and I'll show you what the head item looks like in a second. But also, you can pick up this white puffle pin, which I cannot get to. You have to go onto the uh, Yeti itself. Jetty, not Yeti. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, here's the white puffle pin. Feel free to pick it up. And while we're on the topic of pins, if you head to the ski village and go into the ski lodge, as you can see, every single room is very well decorated with um, animations all around, so that's pretty cool. If you head up into the ski lodge, uh, the ski attic I mean, you will find this TV DVD player corner thing <laughs> and the yellow puffle pin over here. Now if you head back to the dock and head into this box door, you're able to paint a picture. So um, in this box store, there's actually a really cool um, catalog. So, right here, you can pick up the portal box. These are all um, eagle items, by the way. You can pick up the walls and the, um, the small boxes and stuff. But also, if you pick, if you if you click the O in the box store catalog, you can receive the box costume. Now, this is actually a penguin outfit. This is a um, thing you can wear instead of an uh, eagle item. So yeah, that's that's really cool. That's what I'm wearing right now. Now, finally, onto the snow forts. Now, there are actually arrows pointing to the snow forts from all around the island. Now, if you head into this portal, you will see that the box dimension has completely changed. So, there are, what, eight, 10? I think there's 11 different portals you can go into. So, the main one has, uh, it's like an orange puffle theme. That's what the main box dimension lobby is kind of like. Normal, uh, most parties, but yeah, I'm pretty sure all these rooms or some of these rooms are custom or they've done a lot of artwork on them They're so cool. Like look at that. There was a little orange puffle um, Running up the road over there. So yeah, it's, it's really creative. I really enjoy going to these rooms just to hang out I can't wait to stream in here. It's gonna be epic. Yeah, okay, so now let's go to all the different rooms and and uh, I'll showcase them all to you. So, starting off on the right side of the screen, if you go into this pencil portal, you will become a drawing, which is really cool. And if you're wearing a hat item, 
there will be a little hat on top of your head. So that's really cool. A lot of decoration. I love it. The next portal is this Jester, uh, the one with the Jester. Now this one is really well done, well put. So you can actually tell a joke and like have your own turn and stuff. So all you have to do is walk over here, up this checkered pathway into the store and it teleports you to the stage. Now here you can wait your turn or you can just go straight away and tell a joke. What lies at the bottom of the sea and shakes? A nervous wreck. So here is the monster room, I think it said. It's like, it's like a maze, it's like a portal maze. So the strat is just enter the portal you just came out of. So wherever you come out of, just go back into the same barrel and you will slowly work your way towards the top. Now it's completely random, I think. Some of them are re repeated, but like most of the time, you just have to keep going back and see, there I am. I didn't really have to think about it. At the start, I was really confused. I was like, do I have to do I have to keep switching barrels? What am I doing? I was trying to see patterns, but really the pattern is just entering the barrel you just came out of. Okay, so here is where you can pick up the head item. This is what it looks like on your penguin. Let me just quickly go and put it on. There it is. <laughs> it actually looks even crazier with the swirly glasses on. But yeah, there I am, looking like a box as usual. Wait, what? The next room you can go to is this, uh, uh, what are these statues called again? I can't remember. Basically, it's like a futuristic, mystical place. I really like it, actually. There is another catalog in here, and it's completely free. You can pick up this really cool looking hat, and this really cool looking, um, outfit right here. They are postcard delivery theme, and you can also play the piano, which is pretty cool. The next room you can enter is this green portal, which uh, leads you to a retro Club Penguin arcade game, which I really like. It's kind of like Pac-Man. You can pick up all these um, different animations and, and I don't know, play tag. <laughs> I don't know, but I think this is super creative. I'm a big fan of that. Even the exit sign is what we would see on an arcade game, which I think is really cool. The next room you can go to is this, uh, the one with the blue portal and the surf one and the surfboard, I mean. Um, this one has been, I, I think it was in the last party, but yeah, it's really cool. You can, you can surf and stuff. And I think it's really funny how if you get a item that moves around, such as transition, such as this music jam box, you can actually dance while surfing, which is kind of impossible okay so now on to the next room if you head into this portal with the ice cream logo in it you will head into this puffle spa i think it said it was or no not puffle spa no um all the rooms are linked to like other parties it's kind of weird but ignore the text that it says on the blue screen while loading um i'm pretty sure this is just like a candy palace type area Kind of reminds me of Wreck-It Ralph. Um, yeah, so there's a shop as well here. The same shop that we found at the dock. Um, but yeah, looking really cool. Nice place to hang out. There's always a portal in every room to easily um, exit. So yeah. Now this room is another room that was used in the last party, I believe. Um, there's another shop and there's an incredible view with a really mystical looking planet. So yeah, very cool. I like it a lot. The next portal you can go into is this one with the staircase. You'll automatically put uh, upside down, you walk backwards, it's really whack, um, and the stairway is really confusing. It's based off the artwork from, what's his name? I did this in Studio Arts, I should know his name. Uh, MC Escher, that's right. And finally, the last portal you can go into is this western one. Got the bubbles in the back, postcard is attached. And that is it for all of the portals in this box dimension. If you want to exit, just head out into this portal right here. It will take you to the map where you can go to any room you like. So, um, we will now end it off with a little room tour of every room that has like cool looking animations and artwork in it. Let's start off on the right side of the island. So if we head to the iceberg, as you can see, there are a lot of different animations you can see and there is a massive sign in the middle, which is I don't, it just, there's a lot of random, <laughs> there's a lot of random mess, uh, messages and you can change all the arrows and stuff, which is pretty cool. 
So we've already gone to the cove. If you head to the forest, I think it's relatively the same. Oh yeah, there's a uh, there's a box dragon. <laughs> it's really cool, actually. I've never seen it before. Really, really cool. You move the tail and stuff. I like it. Now, if you head to the plaza, as you can see, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's some um, inverted colors, I, th I think. Yeah, it, it's it's whack. It's pretty crazy. In the pizza pile, I don't think there's too many things happening on. There's just like an April Fool's ribbons around. I don't know where this goes. What does this lead you to? The dance club? What? How's that a thing? <laughs> I, I think it's pretty funny since this is the boil room. It is a massive boiler. Into the cave, there are different window shapes, which is really creative. The gift shop has been redecorated into like a sports shop. As you can see, the catalog says snow and sports on it. Um, kind of like the everyday friending uh, facility that the EPF disguises itself in, like in the old original Club Penguin, which I think is really cool. I believe they should just keep it like this. I really like this decoration. It's really uh, retro. I really like it. In the coffee shop, we can find a couple animations, which are kind of weird. And if you head up into the book room, I, I don't know if that's on purpose, but the Mankawa sign is, is having a seizure. Oh, and of course, the bookcases are really, really pixelated. <laughs> And that's a common theme around the island. So if you head to the beach, it's also over here. It's really pixelated and kind of looks like it should be base boosted. And over here with the chairs as well. But also if you head into the lighthouse, there are a lot of different boxes you can enter, which will lead you to different places, I believe. If you head into this box, does it like teleport you anywhere? No, there's just a lot of boxes. It's kind of weird. Okay, cool. If you head up to the beacon, I believe there's nothing up here. Nah, it's kind of just an empty, empty room. It's nice to have a break once in a while. And finally, at the ski hill, there is a tree that is upside down. Just, just sitting there, as usual. You know, as you do. Alright guys, I think that is it for the party and what you can see around the island. I think we'll just end it off by reading the newspaper, the latest one. Oh my god. Gosh, I forgot it was like this. <laughs> uh, everything's upside down and hard to read. The Club Penguin Times, smiley face, issue 151. So yeah, it was 150th last time. Um, and yeah, what is that? Need we you, we need you. What does this say? Oh, this is submit your content. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone's vandalized it. April Fool's parties till April 2nd. Very cool. Fashionable, fashionably finished. Oh, right. Yes, the fashion party did just end with Dot visiting the island multiple times. I'm assuming Rookie will visit the island now. There are a lot of different puffle drawings and and uh, other things like that. There's a top hat here. Now, what's this? See how many penguins you can get to say grub. Count them up. Okay. Here's some jokes. What type of monster plays the most April Fool's jokes? Frankenstein. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, here's the full artwork. Very nice. Good job, Pafushi. Pafushi? Yep, yeah, okay. Um, and the box thing. Yeah, that's pretty funny. All right. Um, and also we have <laughs> Grub starting now. Try and make as many people say Grub. I'm assuming there's like a stamp or something you can get. That's pretty cool. Dress as Rockhopper starting now. Just because Rockhopper is left, it doesn't mean you can be Rockhopper. Sure. Dress as a box starting now. Boxes, boxes. We need so many on the island. Never enough. Dress as a puffle, staying now. Become a puffle. Give out ice cream, staying now. Treats, we need treats, just not just tricks. What the heck? Okay, so yeah, this this catalog, no, sorry, this this Club Penguin Times issue is very crazy, as you can see. Um, is there anything else? I don't think there is. This new Igor music, that's pretty cool. That is it for the Club Penguin Times, and that is it for the April Fool's Party for 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, that's it for me today. So I'll see you all in the next video.